When a mom gives away all of her children one by one, this movie would make anyone who has a heart burst into tears. Moro Nair Por A, literally translates to, After Death, is a Bangladeshi film released in 1990. Three decades gone by but the movie is still relatable. Shati just had a baby. It's her sixth child. Everyone at the nursing home seems very friendly. Before she leaves the hospital, one of the nurses jokingly says see you again soon. She smiles. Then she takes a cab to her home. The house seems empty, like nobody resides there. When Shati enters the house, her children give a heartwarming welcome. They sing and dance around their mom and the new member of the family. At night Shati complains to her husband Shagor about the nurse Rokia. That, she asked her when she would come again. Shagor jokingly says, you should have said, ten months at least. Shati says, we already have six children, now is the time to think about their future. Then they discuss which of their children will become doctor, engineer, judge, police etc. The next morning, Shati wakes up and finds her daughter Minu has already cooked. Minu asks her mom to just rest and take care of her baby brother. Shagor goes to work. While playing one of the children fell down. He has epilepsy. At dinner, the children couldn't eat because of the bad smell. The smell is coming from their dad. Shagor understands the reason and quit smoking. Shati sings a lullaby and puts the children to sleep. But she feels a huge pain in her chest. The next day Shati goes to the doctor. The doctor gives some medicine and advises her to take rest. After a while, Shati comes back to the doctor as her condition is getting worse. This time the doctor gave her some tests. Meanwhile, we see Shagor in a factory. He notices some machinery malfunction, in order to save a worker's life his hands get injured badly. Shati rushes to the hospital and we see both of Shagor's hands are gone. Shagor loses his job, now he needs help doing anything. At dinner, he feels helpless as Shati feeds him, the children look at him, and he gets angry. Here we see flashbacks of Shagor and Shati. And then we hear the theme song for the first time. This song has two version, this is the happy version. Present time. Shati tries to calm Shagor by saying her hands will be his hands, the children's hands will be his hands. He lost two but he still has fourteen. The next day, Shati goes to the doctor again. What the doctor says next, would make your eyes fill up with tears. Shati has lung cancer. Shafi's whole world turns upside down. Back at home, we see Shagor tries to smoke, with no hands it is quite difficult. Shagor sees Shafi's sad face and immediately knows something wrong. He asks her and she says, I have lung cancer. The cigarette falls from his lips. The next day Shagor goes to his old boss. He let him know that the company would give him 15,000 taka as a recompense. Shagor says in tears, this two hands are just 15,000. 1500 Bangladeshi taka is 150 to 200 US dollars. The boss also advises Shagor to beg on the street. Shagor goes to the doctor to start Shafi's treatment. But she says, the illness is terminal and there's nothing she can do, even if the surgery works, Shati would only have six months. Shagor insists and spends all their savings on Shafi's treatment. It works. Shati feels better for some time. Maybe the angel of death took a break for a few days. Now Shati is worried about the children's future. So she decides to give them away for adoption. She gives an ad in the newspaper. A nice couple adopts the baby. I forgot to say. Only the daughter, who is the eldest, knows about Shafi's illness. The others are in shock, why would anyone give away their baby? Here we hear the theme song again, sad version this time. The children start discussing who will be next to go. One by one, Shati gives away all her children. A rich couple takes Minu. Instead of raising her as a daughter they treat her like a servant. Minu comes home to meet her parents though she doesn't mention anything. She brings cigarettes for her dad. Then Shagor says he quit smoking. Two frauds adopt two sons under false names. When they get arrested a nice police officer adopts these two brothers. Only one child left. Nobody adopts him because of epilepsy. 
so Shati admits him into an orphanage. One day, his brother who was adopted by a nice couple visits the orphanage, the couple then adopt him too. Meanwhile, Shati's lifeline is about to end. She just wanna see her children one last time. She makes some dresses to give her children as farewell gifts. Shati hallucinates that someone is calling her, that her time is up, time to go. Shagor and Shati sell all their things to gather the money to visit all the children. Shagor cannot go, as with the money they have only one of us can go. Shati meets all her children one last time. She is happy to know the children have a better life now, more than she could ever give them. On returning, Shati makes Shagor promise that he will visit the children after she's gone. At night, Shati hallucinates again. She hears the children are calling her. She even sees the children for a blink of an eye, then nothing, just an empty playground with an empty swing. Shati feels immense pain on her chest. She wakes up Shagor. The children have come, Shati says. But Shagor knows it's impossible. Shati falls down. Water, water. Shagor tries to fetch some water for her dying wife. With no hands, how a man poured from pitcher to a jug, a jug to a glass and finally to Shati's mouth, it hard to explain. Shati dies. The next day, they bury Shati. All the children are there except Minu. She rushes to her mom's grave. She cries for a while then she says to Shagor, Dad, look! These are you two hands! Pointing to her own hands.